Hey, everybody. Um, let me see if it will let me put on my, yeah, it's not going to let me put on a, a light. I'm walking and hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot to talk about that and I couldn't wait till I got back home. So we're walking bandit and you guys are coming with me and we're going to discuss some things. <sighs> Hopefully I have a good enough signal. I'm just going to walk to the, um, gas station, my favorite place. And we're going to get some things, some snacks. Anyways, <sighs> Whew. we have a lot to go over, a lot, a lot. And I have, a, I have some good things in store. Um, first, I Okay, sorry about that. I think I hit a button. First thing I want to address at the beginning, because I want people to know, um, I, uh, so the whole connection to Ali that I was talking about yesterday, um, it wasn't actually, it was my fault, my fault, not the person that sent me the info, because I read it wrong. She does not, Sherry's daughter does not live with, um, um, Allie's sister. Okay. Allie's sister's boyfriend, James is on Sherry's Facebook, liking her pictures and stuff. Um, or like not Sherry's, I'm sorry, Brittany's Sherry's daughter. And what had happened is they have a same circle of people that they know similar people. And she says that she accepts anybody who has 15 friends or more in mutual. And I, I actually believe her. Um, however, uh, he was actually sending her, trying to come on to her um, and sending her inappropriate messages that she had to delete so her boyfriend wouldn't see. Um, so when she looked him up and saw, I actually talked to her on the phone. I just got off the phone with her. So that, but she claims to not know um, him. Like know him, know him. But they have, they, like she knows, she does know Marlena Crawford. Um, very, pretty well, actually. And um, Marlena Crawford's boyfriend. And she's going to come on tomorrow. And we're going to have a little discussion. Because I talked to her today for over an hour. Oh, shit, this is ice. Wouldn't it be funny? Like, this would be the biggest, like, blooper ever if I fell, like, during a live. Um... Anyways, so she's going to be on tomorrow. We're going to have, she's, she's coming up at 6 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. You guys are really, really going to want to hear this. I'm telling you, you guys are going to be very interested. She knows more than, uh, she knows people connected to Summer Wells, like uh, Marlena Crawford, pretty well. And anyways, our call did not record. I was really, because she was saying we could, I could use the call. And so I was really, I was going to go over it tonight. And, um, but then I went and of course the call didn't record. I think what's going on is it only records like, it only records incoming calls and I honestly don't make very many outgoing, so I guess I didn't notice. I have no idea. But she's going to come up tomorrow, and I'm going to ask her 
the same stuff like that we talked about tonight that I found really interesting and you guys are going to find really interesting. Um, she's going to, um, uh, she's helping me put some piece, public little pieces together. And she does like recognize Allie's sister's boyfriend, but only be, she says, because, uh, she, they do have a lot of mutual friends and he was, trying to come on to her and messenger, you know, he was freaking doing the whole, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it? What do the kids these days call it? Slide in the DMs on the DL sliding in the DMs on the DL. So the gas station I'm going to is right across the street here. Um, waiting till we can safely cross. Okay, I think it's safe. I think it's safe. Um, we have a lot, a lot to talk about. So when I get home here after my walk, we're going to, uh, talk and we're also going to watch together this so-called, uh, Ryan finds fucking nothings bullshit video he posted today just even more shows me what kind of person he is i haven't even seen it but uh i hear there's zero it's just talk and no evidence so he's mad at fred because he said says a family member says that he didn't die over at Laurel Run. Uh, well, I've talked to family that says he did, Ryan. And even if Fred was told wrong, how is that fucking Fred's fault, you freaking moron? Good Lord. It was never, it was never, like, it was something that he... He, he got this stuff from family. A lot of it. So if he didn't really pass that Laurel run, I don't understand how that's Fred's fault, but uh, I don't know how that makes him like a bad person or, uh, you know, I, that doesn't at all. How does that, I don't understand why his, I guess we're gonna have to watch it later. He is a snake. Yeah, I'm about to turn off the camera because I'm going to go in here. And I had to put a uh, bandit in my jacket. I, I put bandit in my jacket when I go in here. Hey. So. I didn't mean to put that on there. I'm going to go home. I'm here in a second. I have to. We go for walks every day. It's not pretty much every day, unless it's like super cold. But I always walk down this gas station. I guess I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't put that out there. Caitlin wants sweet chili Doritos, and she wants some chili. Okay. I heard he made a comment addressed to me under his live. And I also hear that I'm going to be really upset and I'm going to need to probably eat some gummies beforehand. I'm probably going to make sure I've calmed down a lot when I, when I saw it, like the, when somebody sent it to me, I, I was like, 
I knew he didn't have, I knew he had nothing like that show that Fred was a liar. Um, I knew it because Fred is absolutely not a liar. And I mean, from what I've witnessed and it, you know, he's only human, Ryan. I mean, come on. How is, I mean, the cotton thing, him cotton where he passed, like, He's going by what family told him. I spoke to Cotton's family. They literally told me he he passed there. So there's been some kind of miscommunication somewhere that I guess we need to figure out if he didn't pass over there by Laurel Run or over there by the light or what cemetery that was. I don't know if it's Light Cemetery. I don't think it's, it's a uh, more, more, it starts with M. If Andy was in here, he would know. Um, Somebody tried to block you. He is working with another realm. So now that, okay, wow. So are you serious? You've got to be serious. You cannot be, you have got to be shitting me right now. Are you serious? He's teamed up with another realm again? Oh my God. What? He, oh my God, she talks so much crap about him. And I, and even said, wow, I can't believe, wow, 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 wow. That just shows me even more about him. Wow. I even felt bad for her too. Cause I was like, man, like maybe he did, was working with her more than I knew. And maybe he did like, uh, totally i think he's an opportunist what i'm seeing i think he wants to he wants to be known i it's disappointing i did not hold on guys i'm trying to carry this up here and i'm i'm kind of limited with my hands so yeah i'm on a i'm on a live right now would you like to say hi to the people? Yeah, yes. Yeah, would you, sure. I'm not. I don't have the camera on, but would you like to say hi? Hi There's guys. There's 350 people in here. Oh, you're alive. 200 yeah. people. That's amazing. Can you say people to uh, follow me on Instagram? <laughs> What's your Instagram? I can like. You can type. Uh, okay, we'll go to my. Uh, you'll have to. <laughs> Hold on, I have to get, I have to get, uh, more. Caitlin wants a propel. And I'm thinking I probably should get something too, because I'm not hungry now, but we ate earlier something. I usually only eat like once a day, honestly. Um... Sorry guys, I'll be out of here in a second. Okay. Good. Hey everybody, I'll be outside here in a second after I pay. Uh, okay, I'll have to, did, did you go to my, uh, you'll have to put it in the, or, it won't tie, um, here, hold on, let me take a picture of it, I'll just leave a picture of your, uh, Shit, I'm sorry. I don't know how long I've been muted. Did you guys hear him say hi? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're we're trying to figure out what happened to a little girl that's gone missing in Tennessee, and that's a case I've been following for a long time, and and all these people too. Uh, you care if I get too bad because you can do it like this. Please. Yeah, I can. Do Hold that. on, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, like me. That's I know, no, because I walk like. No problem, dude. Thank you. I know. No I usually don't want them because it's just a bunch it's of trash. Of <laughs> yeah, I should just bring a bag like with me. Maybe outside? Yeah, a little bit. I should just bring a bag with me because I hate having to throw all that tr- trash away, you know? Yeah. But. Yeah, did you guys, did you, he, you guys didn't hear him say hi? Other saying hi. We heard him, they said. <laughs> All right, I'll share your Instagram when I, when I get home. I, I'm going to go. All right, see ya. I'll see you later. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, bandit? Bandit? You're going to have to work with me a little bit here. You're, you're all... Come on. Bandit. It's weird. He's scared. Uh, I, I yesterday the neighbors were trying to pet him, and he was scared. Even the little kids. But you know that guy, she or he went right up to. That the guy who freaking works on that, at that gas station, he always is like so weird about like, uh, like he doesn't like to give extra bags or. You know, he's all about, like, I don't know, not, he, he tries to save money or something. He doesn't like to double bag, but he knows I walk there a lot. Like, I'm like, dude, please, like, usually I wouldn't, <laughs> I don't even want all these freaking bags, but, like, I just don't want to take a chance. You will have bandit. New Hampshire. What's the results in New Hampshire? Oh, I must not know what you guys are talking about, but when I get home, I'll switch over to my computer like I did the last time I did this, and we'll continue our talk, and then we'll move on to um, eventually watching part of what Ryan, his message, I guess he... He um, directly, um, for some reason, directly referenced me. The only way he should be directly referencing me at this point is an apology. So if it has an apology in it, um, you know, then I will apologize, I guess, or I will (laughs) accept it. Otherwise, like... I think what he was, it's crazy because I even have left the dude alone and it feels like, I almost feel like, should I, I shouldn't, I almost was like wanting to not address it because I feel like these people, like you could always tell who's the ones that aren't really for summer because they'll, they will do anything, do anything to have a story or get views you know what I mean? Or get attention. And I really, really did not think he was like that. I truly thought, Ryan, I even still was thinking he was a, a, a good guy, even after the fallout, you know, the disagreement. I even still, but I was like, okay, you know, we can move, be adults or whatever. And then he comes out. And, you know, know, for me, he's the only other person that's freaking, like, creator that's communicated with Fred. 
And I did, I did a lot. Like if you want somebody to help you and I'm not trying to, I'm a very humble person, but I do know this case. Like that's if anything that I know is, it's the, this case. And when I find out any information that's wrong, I immediately correct it. Like, just like, you know, what I thought uh, when I misunderstood a message about Sherry's daughter, Bill Shipley's, um, or Bill Shipley, Shipley's ex-wife who died mysteriously in an odd way. And we're going to talk to her tomorrow and she has a lot of great information. So, you know, I think just like I told Fred about what I hear that Ryan's uh, been saying, I told him an email, I didn't talk to him on the phone, but he said like, well, he's going to look real stupid. He's like, just wait. He's like, the truth is coming. That's what he said. He goes, he's going to look really freaking dumb. He said, just, he goes, he goes, just wait, the truth will come out. I believe it. I believe him. I know the truth will come out. And I believe Fred is truly trying to help to the best of his ability. And if he gets something wrong about we're caught in past, that does not make him a liar. But I still, if that's true that he didn't pass a Laurel run, then I need to uh, talk to some people because I talked to his, some, a, a, a very cool, pretty close, very, per, <laughs> uh, pretty close to him. And I was told differently. I've heard Laurel run more times than, I, I mean, seriously, more confirmation on that over and over again. Okay, I'm going to turn off my camera for a bit. So, I would be careful, anybody who's working uh, with Brian, I'm just saying he will, he is totally an opportunist, and I usually don't say this stuff, like, I just because I've had a falling out with somebody, I, I, I but guys, my experience with this guy has not been good. Again, he's proved to me the person that he is. Like, I mean, I haven't seen this video he did yet, but I hear I'm going to be pissed. So, and I hear that from people I trust. He dogged out Fred. <laughs> well, I don't think he's wanting to do that. See, this is why I think that he's opportunist. opportunist. He is reminding me He's reminding me of people like Tiffany Marie and um, and Benny. Like, like we'll or no? Let me think. I need to think of a a, a better example. I'm trying to trying to. He's reminding me of of like somebody who will put out anything good or bad, like just as though it gets them some type of attention. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. I hope Mango Kind is okay. Um, no, it's good, I like it. All right, cool. So, he's reminding me of who is, who, I'm trying to think of a good example. Somebody, let me see. Some of you guys might. Ernie Shell. Uh, not as, no. He doesn't remind me of Ernie Shell because, like, Ryan comes off like a, like a good person, like a good, um, decent person. And I don't get that. Ernie comes off crazy. Ryan doesn't come off crazy. He comes off opportunist like he will turn on anybody um just to have a story 
or just to get views. That's what how he is. He'll turn and he he doesn't. I don't believe that he has any type of concrete um, anything on Fred to call him a liar. And I want to see it. He's he's sitting there saying, "Oh, I can't put out anything because oh, I can't. I can't put." That's what I hear he's saying, anyways. Um, one second, I'm getting over switched over to my computer so that we can really get into this more. <sighs> so give me a second. Sorry, I am going to sniff more than usual because it's kind of cold out and all right. I don't even know how I look, but here I go. Oh. All right, here we go. Okay. 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 Oh, shit. okay. That one will drop here soon. It should. <laughs> okay. Got that handled. So I don't know why that one's not dropping. I don't know how to use um, There we go. Yes, I got pants on. I do have pants. I do have that. Uh, I, I know Simply Reba. I know. At least he's out there. But the thing is, he's like sensationalizing things. He's like dramatic. He's making, he's really using it's like fred hill's name and right now it just seems like he's using it for he he is he was thinking he was getting ran in circles or whatever but he can't get just because he's frustrated with not finding anything or not getting finding summer does not do not put that on uh Fred. That's what I noticed that he was doing. Like when when he couldn't find, didn't find any clues like out in the world run or whatever, all of a sudden he would like get mad, like start like thinking Fred was running him in circles. It's like dude, if you don't want to believe um, him, then that's fine. I've been friends with him and talking to him very often for over, him and Laura for over two two years now. And you just come out here on the scene um, out of nowhere and know nothing about the case. I personally have talked to a lot of people surrounding the case and have been, you know, I know a lot about the case. I do, you know, I, I was trying to another realm or whoever he else he's getting information of, I guarantee has not, is, has nowhere done as much work on this case as I have or talked to the amount of people I have. So he's getting wrong information. He's get. I feel like he's just being, I don't know. We'll have to see it, I guess, because I haven't watched it. But I, I, I'm trying to calm down at, beforehand because I'm going to get really upset. So, I'm trying to think here. Oh, I was going to pull up my chat. Okay.
I know I, I almost didn't even mention anything because I felt like he was trying to get me to go back and forth with him and just want views. And I'm like, it's so disappointing. I'm so disappointed in him. Like, I, I can't even tell. It's not even really. I, I'm just disappointed for the person I thought he was, you know, like that I thought him and his wife were. Now, I don't want to put it on his wife because like he's the one that she's very different than him. She's a different person. And I don't know, like, you know, so I really am trying not to put it on her. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Hattie, Fred doesn't even know. I guess Cotton would have been one of them. Doesn't even make sense. Like, what would, why would, Fred, I mean, come on. Why would, why, why would he purposely lie about where Cotton passed away? That doesn't even make sense. Like, <laughs> oh, we're just, we're just running us for circles. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're listening to Jody Sue too much. Sorry, I didn't notice some of you guys had messaged me. <sighs> Come on, Athena. Come on. So, anyways. Hey, Chloe. I've seen some of his snarky comments of his in other chats and saying he's not into the drama, but he's caught, he's perp, then he's not into the drama, but then I hear he's, you know, I really, I literally really thought I was doing a good thing. Like Fred has been so helpful in this case. And I don't, he, for some reason, he does not want to believe it. I'm like, I'm the one that's met the dude over and over again. I'm the one that's talked to him over and over again. I'm all about honesty. Like, I am a stickler for honesty. If you lie to me about the color of something, I'm going to flip my lid. If I found out Fred was lying to me intentionally, anything to do with the case, Seriously, I would never talk to him again. And I think he's well aware of that. I would be so pissed. But up until the, now, still, nobody's provided me with absolute evidence of him purposely putting out wrong information. Purp you know, I need, just because somebody says something different than, than him, doesn't make that proof. We need concrete proof. <laughs> right, Shiva? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Hey, I'm like a different person than I was two years ago. It's crazy. Yeah, I just would rather people be brutally honest, whether it hurts me or not. And that's what I tried to teach Jim because Jim was one of those that would always like fib. And I found out over time it was because he just always liked to was a people pleaser and liked to make everybody happy. So he would, he would, but the thing is he would like over, he it would over like, um, he'd put so much on himself and promises to people that he couldn't keep, you know, and that was the problem with that. And I just, I, I just like truth you know, whether it's going to hurt my feelings or not. Okay. And that includes if there's truth or proof of Fred absolutely lying to me. Uh, 
I know. That's why I'm trying to calm down before I watch this because I'm already like, you know, heated. And I don't want to overreact. But tomorrow, for those just now coming in that didn't hear earlier, tomorrow, 6 p.m. is going to be an... I, I feel, in my opinion, you guys are going to want to hear this. I'm, I, I'm so bummed that the phone call didn't record because, I mean, I was just in, like, like most of the call. Like, holy crap. She even told me something about Marlena, how Marlena's kid was... Oh my God, you guys have to hear this. You guys are going to freaking have, you have to. I just, I want you guys to hear it yourself for yourself. And I'm, I'm kind of trying not to put out too much. I'm not trying to do that to you guys and not tell you things, but um, it's just best you hear it from her and understand how her, her connections and stuff. And so I do, so as, so as far as, yesterday when I thought I found out that and it was my fault completely my fault I misread I mean I was too tired and I was I was live and I was I, I read the message completely wrong um and I read it now and I'm like how did I get that wrong um but Sherry so Bill Shipley's ex-wife the one that he's supposedly being investigated for her death. Um, her daughter, the lady's daughter, is friends on Facebook with Allie's sister's boyfriend. And I've been looking for a connection between Allie and Bill Shipley because of some rumors I have heard. And so I'm still looking into that. But um, I really don't have that connection really quite yet. But she did confirm to me that Don Wells and the absolute, she is like absolutely knows Bill. Um, she's not a beach creaker, but she knows a lot of people. She knows Marlena. Sorry, my land board's messaging me, thanking me for rent, and I'm saying, and I just want to reply. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, the Delta Eight was definitely hitting me heavily, but it's still not an excuse. Uh, it was my fault, hundred percent. But there is still that information is still important. Like as far as like he he is friends with her on Facebook. She says she does. She just accepts anybody who has fifteen or more mutual friends. And the way she explained it, I completely believe her. I absolutely believe she's not like hiding something. At first, though, I was. I was like, I was like, why are you lying to me? Like, I literally have proof that you're friends with this. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, she was like, dude, I'm telling you this. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Thank God she talked to me after that. Um. And when I went back and read the messages and how she explained it, I'm like, okay, this makes sense. But the guy, Allie's sister's boyfriend, was coming on, sending, was sliding into her DMs. Bill even was sliding in her DMs a, a days after her mother's passing. You guys have, this guy is disgusting. Like, oh my God, wait, you guys have to hear this shit, dude. You have to hear it. The, the children references, like the uh, with him with children. Oh my God, like mind blown. I wish so bad that that phone call um, was recorded because I just hope I remember to ask everything that I, you know, it was so much. But she'll be here tomorrow at 6 p.m. So 
you guys a little like I can give you I'll give you a couple like sneak peeks dude he used to like tr they he used to get in fights with Sherry his the one that he's been investigated for because she would refuse to role play sexually that she was a that she was his stepdaughter underage stepdaughter he they would argue and fight because she would not role play that she was like a 14 year old girl Dude, I have so much. Or she does. Oh my gosh. Like the call was like mind blowing. Seriously. I think you guys are going to. I, I tried to have her on tonight. I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. The freaking call didn't record. I was like, can you come on my channel tonight? And she's like, I got to go to work. But I was like, can you please tomorrow? So, and she says, definitely. Because she really wants justice for her mother. And and we both 100% believe, well, I'm not 100, I'm pretty close. I, I believe they, there was foul play in Sherry's passing. Absolutely. And he tried to play it off, like, because she had been sick. She was, they was hooked on, she was on drugs, just like him. Um. So he just took, you guys are going to have to hear all this. She is wanting justice for her mother. That's her main goal. She does know a lot of things. So, you know, Bill is connecting to the Summer Wells situation, like way more than I ever suspect, expected. And He would, oh my God, guys, like, she, main, her main goal is justice for her mother. She even said, you know, I know, like, she goes, I have started watching the Summer Wells case because of all this stuff that's come out, come out, like, about Bill and stuff. But she's like, to, she goes, but to me, my, it, my mother's more important than Summer Wells to her because that's her mother. And I understand. I said, absolutely. I want justice for your mother just as bad. I feel like this guy is a really bad guy and he could be possibly, I mean, this guy and he was living around that beach, a beach Creek area. Everybody knows this guy in that area. So Yep. And the per person that carry the person that drove Sherry after she had not seen Bill for oh my you guys are at the, the the daughter that's coming on thought was like her mother Sherry was picked up from her house that day that she passed by the cousin that it's such a long, you know, this is how people keep everything confused. Like why it's so, there is so much. It is so, so, so confusing. That is why this has not been solved yet because there is way too many people involved in this. And he does go by Wild Bill and he is known about as Wild Bill. I asked her that is absolutely 100% he called himself Wild Bill. So that's absolute. But as far as drunk Billy, she doesn't remember him ever being called drunk Billy. And guys, I have bad news. Uh, as far as the guy, he has an out date. I haven't told Kelly yet and it's next month. It's soon. So... I'm really hoping, you know, we can get some type somebody looking into Sherry's uh, death more intensely, and maybe he won't get out. But he has an out date, and he's supposed to get out next month.
So I don't know the exact date. Awesome, riddle me. See, this is how we all work together. This is about putting a puzzle piece together. And I know people are like, oh, what's this have to do with summer? What I'm telling you it does. Well, I mean, in my opinion. I don't even know if I want to watch Ryan's video. I'm sitting here thinking if I should even watch it because I don't want to get distracted from this. This is like, you know, I need to stay focused on what I'm trying to do here. And I'm trying to think if I should wait on watching that video because I know it's going to upset me. Oh my gosh, Sheba, that's exactly what his, she doesn't even want me to call him a, her, his stepdaughter. She's like, I don't want associated with that guy. He's not my family. She's like disgusted by him and embarrassed. She's ex said herself, she's like, he is, he is, cannot, he does not belong in society. That's exactly what she said. He is not fit for society is her exact words. Right? Even if it doesn't have something to do with summer, still Sherry's death is still important too. But still, these are the kind of people Dawn was, you know, was around. I mean, I know he says he wasn't, but we're going to, people, we're going to have, we'll find proof. We'll find more proof. If it was Stephanie a hoax, then there would be lots of people involved. Lots of people would know it was a hoax and be benefiting off of it. If if that's true. Yeah, I'm going to talk to her for sure. And if he, I might go ahead and get a protect. Well, shit, I can't because I do talk on them. I mean, I can talk on them, but I don't know how that would just kind of, there'd be a lot of gray area on that. We'll just have to see, play it by ear. I'm just praying to God that they start, I don't know, there's a hold or something that comes up from another state or something because supposedly he's wanted in other states. I'm just praying that, that, that he does not get out next month. He is a pyromaniac. He Poured gasoline all over Sherry. Poured gasoline all over her. Had a gun to her. And was going to burn, set her on fire and burn the whole place up. To burn the evidence. She has proof of it in text of Sherry in te texting Billy saying, you poured gasoline all over me. You scared me. You're scared of yourself? I know. I'm scared. Like, for real. This dude getting out. He's dangerous. And I just, this can't happen. He cannot get out. Like, I don't know. Guys, that girl that came in chat, too? Oh, my God. You guys are going to just not believe this, This what this lady has to say. That Christy Dykes that came in chat? Yes, it's his cousin. But he also was messing around with her. Christy and Billy had a thing. Oh, my fucking God. Dude, I don't know why Marlena and Billy, too, it's rumored. Um, like, she was saying Marlena Crawford and Billy are way too close um, and have a weird relationship. And, oh, my gosh, the stuff that she she freaking knows is, like, I'm like, dude, you have, like, way more information than I think you know There's so much. This guy would role play like he wanted to role play. Um, he had all kinds of like weird uh, fantasies, like as far as children. Um, he would come on to even 
Sherry's daughter and it would it caused problems with Sherry and her daughter's relationship because he was coming on to her daughter and I guess she would get jealous. It does. Exactly. That's exactly what I told her. I told her. I told her, I go, this sounds exactly like Don. He sounds exactly like Don Wells. Seriously. He reminds me of a freaking Don Wells. But even worse, this guy's even more dangerous. Like, or maybe he's just more overt, overt than um, Don is. I mean, he puts it out there all over his Facebook. I mean, he's, he has literally, I mean, he just does everything in the open. I would love to talk to Sherry Alley's mom. That would be amazing. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but I'm not going to like just randomly try to call numbers. You know, I won't do that, but I have tried to message her. I, I really want to talk to Sherry, the mother of Allie. So there's two Sherry's and I think that also caused some confusion. Um, Sherry is Bill Shipley's. So there's Sherry Lane, who is, um, which I, I'm kind of makes me wonder if she's related in a way to Robin through marriage. Cause I don't think Lane's her, I don't know. Anyways, uh, there's Sherry who is Bill Shipley's ex who passed away from mysterious circumstances a little over a year ago around the time of Don or Don. Oh my God. I cannot believe I just, I am so sorry, Jim. <laughs> around the time that Jim passed away, she passed away a little bit after uh, Jim did around that time. Bill Shipley's ex. And then there's Sherry Alley. Ali Mulaney's mother. What? There's nobody out there. What do you mean was with the guy, JPL? Because I just want to make sure I didn't say something wrong. I want... I want to make sure I'm lucky that the girl will, you know, talk to me after I accused. I mean, I wasn't really, I, I just felt, I was like, cause I was, uh, I saw that got that person on her Facebook, you know, Allie Mulaney's sister's husband on her Facebook. And I thought that they knew each other. Because he didn't have, like, that many friends. I mean, he has several hundred, but, like, it was, like, a reasonable number. So, I didn't, it didn't look like he just, like, ran. It looked like most of the people he would know on his Facebook, but I guess not. It's, like, people, friends of friends. Like, he might have, he might know of her or something. But, yeah, he was coming on to her and sliding in her DMs. She's like, I wish so much I did not delete that. She's like, I deleted it because my boyfriend gets so jealous and I just didn't want the fight. Um... Who's here talking about Billy? Yes, he was into men too. Aw, thank you, Chemistry Queen. That's so nice of you. I understand it's dangerous, guys. I am more I am worried that he's getting out next month. I, my heart dropped, my, you know, I kind of, my stomach sank or whatever. When she told me that, I, I was like, oh my God, I asked her five million times. So I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? Maybe you should drop this and just leave it to the TBI. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe.
maybe I should just drop this and leave it to the TBI. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just like, why do you think that, Teresa? I know, I don't, Courtney, I, I, I really thought he was, he's reminding me like, I don't know, kind of like of the chase situation a little bit. Put cameras on my Amazon. I probably, I probably should get, uh, Do you know him, Teresa? She you know if Brit Billy hangs out with Frank Light? That's a good question. Let me uh, message her right now. Yeah, guys, get your questions ready for tomorrow. Um, But see, I just feel like that's what people want. Like, of course they want people not to talk about it. Or there's people who don't want people to talk about it because there's some shady stuff going on. And it's probably been going on for a very long time. It's very deeply ingrained in that area of Beach Creek. It's because those people have lived people have lived there over generations and everybody knows each other and they kind of got a loyalty towards each other you know it's like family in a way even the law enforcement you know um kind of lives by their own kind of rules you know kind of unspoken rules Summer won't be found until Beach Creek wants her found. That's very, very, very true. Yeah. Very true. I mean, I, I that's tend to have said something. No, said that early on in the case is like, you know, pretty fascinating because like you know it's true i've only probably i mean i've always suspected something bigger but i'm just now starting to see i'm i'm just now like since i've got out of the depression out of jim's passing and stuff the last several months like i'm just now starting to see like how like much this is like in that and how true that summer's not going to be found until Beach Creek wants her found because tons of people know because they might not be directly involved in summer's disappearance but they know what it involves and it entails and the people you know, they know that it probably has, because a lot of those people around there are aware of some secrets of people. Amber Reed and Eddie Franklin Collins, what they do? Mm-hmm. Let's see. What if, Smiley will call Sherry. Smiley calls anyone. Yes, I would love to talk to Sherry. 
And the reason why is because we ha haven't heard from her a lot. And, you know, Allie would keep Sherry quiet a lot. Would you know, It seemed like to me. Ernie said Ronnie Lawson sent him two cease and desist. <laughs> Ernie, you're not that important. Please stop. Good Lord. I've never seen somebody with uh, such a um, enhanced, like, what's the word? Ego? Like, a, he really thinks he's something in his freaking mind. Well, I'm just now, like, I always, I... I don't know if always, I don't know if I always thought like that. Like my mind could not register because it's so, and that's why people, that's why it's taken this long to figure out what happened to Summer. That's why people are scared. There, people are scared of getting in trouble for being a, a for possible other activities. Like, I, I, it's so hard to talk about because it involves, you know, children. And maybe these people, a lot of these people weren't involved directly with Summer's disappearance that day, but I feel a lot of them know that there was something going on with children like over there at 110. And in <sighs> there are lots of skeletons in many closets that hold hands with skeletons in other closets. Yep, it's like a puzzle. What do you mean the damage is done, Adele? She was telling me how uh, he killed, Bill Shipley killed uh, their dog, killed uh, Sherry's dog, adult dog named Dozer, which I find that we, you know, when I, when they say that, when she says that name Dozer, like that freaks me out because it makes me think of Donna Serafina when she was saying the word Dozier. She kept saying dozier, dozier. And then, um, anyway, Sherry had a dog, a 180 pound pit bull named uh, Dozer, who he locked in a car when it was hot outside with the windows up and left him out there to die. Literally, that's how freaking sick this guy is. Ziggy, someone said Allie has the book with the names in and number behind each name. She's, they said if the book is found, they will find Summer. I wonder where the book is. Where the book I now... I'm not sure what that means, Carla. So he left because you guys want to know why he did that to the dog? Supposedly he did that to the dog because the dog was very protective of Sherry. And when he would get aggressive with Sherry, he had gotten aggressive with Sherry and the dog tried to attack him. So he freaking decided he'll put the dog in the freaking car. Just to be, he's just a horrible, horrible person. San Francisco, I'd love to. <laughs> right? The dog is bigger than him. And he really is. Um, you keep hearing of a black book. Um, I keep. Oh, I did get a confirmation. He is five foot one from her, too. So that's true. Um. 
He, she said that she's never heard him talk about the Summer Wells case, though, which is interesting, though. Um, the Marlena stuff. Oh, my gosh. She had so much good. I, I, I hate that that call did not record. Like, I just hope that I can. It just is so much better to me um, when I do, like, a conver or an interview with somebody that is my natural curiosity. Like I have that natural curiosity when I, I talk to them and I don't know. Like it just helps the interview be, or the conversation flow so much better when, because my natural curiosity will just, ask, knows what to ask. But if I've already asked the questions and stuff, I, I kind of, I don't know. It just doesn't. I hate that I have to like redo it. It's always better the first time. I can't believe it. I don't. I it sucks that that didn't record. There are maybe a few of these Billy Boys. And that's what I'm saying, Candace Moran. <laughs> feel free to rewind if you've stumbled here and feel, became confused. You know more about Beach Creek than you know in your own neighborhood. Exactly. What is this book supposed to mean? My sister-in-law gave me three big boxes of books recently. Yeah, they are trying to censor our free speech. I don't understand. This is the first time. This is the first time I'm um, hearing about a book, but I that would I hope that there is something like that that you know. And if um, Ali's family comes across it or whatever, I hope that they do the right thing and give it to law enforcement or whatever. You know, I think Sherry would, from what I've seen, Sherry Mullaney. It's an absolute lot. Yeah, you guys are going to have to rewind. There's no way I can go over, like, I'm trying to think what I should do. I don't even know, guys, if I really want to watch Ryan's video. What? I hear that there's, like, it's literally no evidence of anything. So I don't see why I should even watch it if it's just going to upset me. If he doesn't have any proof of or any solid proof of anything, and it's just him sitting there talking about um, yeah, his beliefs and he won't show anything of proof, then I there's no I don't want to hear his words. I want to see proof. Sorry. I trust I trust Fred more than I trust him by far. Because I ha there's a history there and I I've seen and it's not anything about just because he's my friend and him and Laura, my friend or anything. It's not because of that. It's because he, I've know him now at this point. And I know, I, I mean, I haven't, there's never been any major contradictions in anything he's told me with proof. It's so boring and not worth your time. Oh, really? He starts out from the start saying Fred is a liar. I'm glad that he's out there looking for Summer, but, you know, but... 
he 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 kind of is a little bit impulsive in, in how he reacts. And I was kind of wondering when I saw his post that somebody sent me about did his weird posts about needing basically security guards so that he can go investigate, search an area or wanted lookouts for his wife while they did. What, I mean, come on. Are you serious? Claiming that he's going to a dangerous area where there could be meth cooks and stuff. And I was like, dude, this sounds like this come from another realm. Like I was thinking that I seriously thought that, but to hear today, he's back working with that lady. I'm just like, oh my God, it's just confirmation to me. He is so, so much a conspiracy. He's exactly what he says he's not. He's a conspiracy theorist, hardcore. That guy, I thought he was all about the facts. He presented, he came out on YouTube acting like he was like really not into psychics, that he didn't believe in that stuff. He wants facts. He wants solid proof. That's it. That's why I liked him because he, listen, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all, but I am like, you know, I, I believe in some things that other people might not. Like, I do believe, um, you know, I do tarot and that kind of stuff. I'm not, as, I, I, I'm, I'm still a skeptic because there's a lot of like liars in the world. Um, you know, but I'm very open, but he is, oh my God, super paranoid, a conspiracy theorist, like crazy, crazy. He said his thing was debunking conspiracy theories. The dude is a walking conspiracy theorist. Like, dude, you completely misrepresented yourself. You came out and told everybody that you were about hardcore facts and then to come out, it was freaking mind blowing. Okay. And me and luminous are sorry to say your name. Me and not even, and several people talked even before even it even came out said like when his, he showed his wife and was like saying his wife is psychic and always had these abilities. And I'm like, what? I was like mind blown. And then when he started talking about Donna Seraphine, I mean, I, I like Donna Seraphine. I don't mean it. I'm just like, what? I thought you were against psychics. Like, I was like, uh, it was so weird. I was, I, I was like, my, I was like, are you serious? Like, I don't know. I, I just want, I wanted to work with him because I thought he was a guy like, I, I just thought he was, I just thought he was somebody different. <sighs> Man, you know, his wife comes on and I was like, I really liked her. I thought she seemed like a very good person. And I was like, you know, I just kind of like, went along with it. Just kind of like, I was like, okay, but I got to admit, even before, and I've talked to people, people here can, I have private messages before the, anything, when he first brought his wife out, like long ago, I even have messages with people like, what the heck? Like, like what? Am I the only one that's like shocked? You said that you were all about facts and you were, he acted so against psychics. It was the strangest freaking thing. Grace, I give everybody a chance. But you lose my trust, you'll, you lose it forever. Seriously. Even if we're friends again, or I forgive you about something, I'm never going to trust a person again after they prove to me that they can they are especially playing games with a little child or a child who's missing case like purposely putting out misinformation i don't want to be associated with people like that liars i don't i especially something so serious
What the hell? I see. I don't understand. I, he just made. Dude, I cannot believe Ryan is putting this shit out there, dude. He sounds like. I, I This guy is just puts out whatever people tell him. Seriously. Well, he's associated with Eastman is the only thing I can think of. He works for Eastman. That's the only thing I can think of. Of why he's... Is he... I mean, I never buy into this stuff like people... Oh, they're trying to confuse the situation. Oh, they're, they've are they been hired to confuse... Oh, you know, people saying all these YouTubers that's been hired to... I never believe that shit. You know, that's crazy talk to me. But I guess it does happen. It is weird that he works with East or for Eastman, but but everybody works for Eastman in that area. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like saying, saying because, you know, like everybody's family out there too. Like just because somebody's related out there does not mean anything. Doesn't Judy Sue's father work for Eastman? Maybe I'm, I mean, it's a big company. And then to find out, you know, that they've been sued. Eastman's been sued from the Mexican, like one of the Mexican states or whatever, because supposedly Eastman was basically contracting freaking mafia members like mafia members were getting products f for some kind of ingredients of and drugs that they needed or something from Eastman e and like had some kind of, I don't know. It just, I, there's so much weird shit guys. I don't, it's, it's mind blowing. I know, I know. And I talked to con I caught, I talked to his family. He needs to be careful. Like he needs to extra, he needs to be checking. It's called vetting his sort, the source. You've got, I mean, I don't know who he's getting this information. First of all, he, he won't tell us Cotton's family. Well, I talked to Cotton's family too. And I was told straight from his family, he, that he fell off a cliff. Over there in Laurel Run, near that some cemetery, Morrison or something, the same area that Tony Hammonds was seen trying to abduct a little boy. No, Cotton didn't admit to killing Summer. Fred told me when he gets when he gets out, he's going to explain that whole thing to me. About how, like, what Cotton said to him. He didn't want to say it on the phone. And plus, we didn't know. At that time, we didn't know, like, we were, we were being careful what we talked about. Because I didn't want to get him in trouble. Because it was like they weren't. I was afraid, like, if I talked about the Summer Wells case on there, that they wouldn't let me talk to him. Because they were being weird about me talking to him. And so, I was just, I didn't know, like. If talk, I don't know. It's just weird. <sighs> but I talked to literally, I talked to somebody very, very close. And I promised, I gave them my word. I would not tell who they are. And actually, I can't even remember exactly I'd have to look through messages. I can't even think of the name like off my top of my head. And oh my gosh, there's 666 people in here. And I hope that that changed. Okay, thank you. 664. Um, but I talked to somebody that would definitely, definitely know how he passed. So it doesn't make sense to me that... Ryan's going to come out. It's, it seems like he just wants views, like that he has some kind of agenda. And I don't understand it. I 
a Kathy Morrison cemetery. <laughs> Kathy Morrison cemetery. No, I I think it's called Morris Cemetery. More something. I don't know. Morrison. I don't know. It's over by Laurel Run. I I'd have to. Thank you. Pretty is as pretty does. Says keep being you, Ziggy. Looking at your pup. Small picture, but <laughs> yeah, and you know that's exactly what he's probably. He sent me messages. Uh, back when I emailed him, I said, I said, hey, I'm just waking up and it's craziness. Ryan finds truth. Truth freaking made a video about you and people are telling me about it. And he said, truth about what? Because he didn't understand what I meant by Ryan finds truth. And I, I just found that funny. I said, LOL, ha, 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 ha. That's his channel name. It's called Ryan finds truth. And I put LOL exactly though. Truth about what? Ha, 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 ha. I said, because he doesn't put out fucking truth. He puts out freaking confusion. He says, truth. Okay, so he said, what's he saying about me, LOL? I said, well, the title says that you're running everyone in circles, but I haven't watched it yet. I'm trying to calm down first before I watch it because I'm not happy about it. And he said, let him talk shit. We know the truth. Everything that I have talked about in her disappearance is documented. I said, yeah, I don't understand why he's doing that except to try and get views. He says, that's all he's doing, but he wouldn't know the truth if it smacked him in the face. I said, yeah, I guess not. He's been showing his true self lately. And then he sent me messages. They can, the messages pretty much go through instantly, like the emails. And he said, most people are just after the reward money instead of just bringing her home and getting her justice and she will get justice. You know, I don't have to lie for myself or anyone. I have nothing to gain from it. I'm innocent, but got a target on me because I know too much. Your channel has the truth. Most don't want to believe it, but as time goes on, they will say they wish they would have faith, had faith in you and me. He said, as time goes on, they will say they wish they had faith in you and me. People don't know what I know or what I got proof of. After all, it's going to be fun after it's over. Certain ones need to prepare because the end is near and you have the truth. And he said, hey, just let me know what happens. I might fall asleep. My head's hurting really bad today, but feel free to email. Always um, makes me feel better. And then I was out, like, I was talking to you guys. I think that's when he was, this was just recently. So that's what he says. That's his response to, and, you know, so he just is, is keeps saying just to it. And this is exactly, exactly what's, how somebody would respond if they're being honest. At least exactly how I would is, well, I know the truth. They'll see the, they're going to see the truth. They're going to look stupid. So if you guys want to keep saying this shit about Fred, it's basically what he's saying. It's like, okay, you're just going to see. He doesn't back down. He doesn't stutter. He doesn't like, well, maybe I got, oh, no. He said, he says, I, you know, I don't have to lie for myself or anyone. I have nothing to gain from it. I'm innocent, but got a target on me because I know too much. Let them talk shit. Shit. We have, we know the truth. Everything that I have talked about in her disappearance is documented. Most people are just after the reward money instead of just bringing her home and getting her justice and she will get justice. You know, I don't have to lie for myself or anyone. I don't have nothing to gain from it. I'm innocent, but have a target on me because I know too much. Your channel has the truth. Most don't want to believe it. But as time goes on, they will say they wish they would have had faith in you and me. People don't know what I know or what I got proof of. After all, it's going to be fun. After it's over, certain ones need to prepare because the end is near and you have the truth. Take it how you will. 
So, Ryan, you're going to look stupid AF. I'm telling you. And thank you so much, Pretty Is, as Pretty Does. That's so nice of you. I told him to just be a hiking channel. That's fine. Stop putting Summer's name on your hiking videos for views. I know that he is totally like, what the heck is this guy? I, I thought this guy was like, a. I thought he had a good job, a good career. Like, like I thought he had a history with it, um, journalism. Like I thought he was like legit. I had no idea that he would ever be somebody. I didn't think for a second he would be an opportunist or somebody who was trying to get famous or somebody who was trying to get his name out there. I didn't think that for a second. So I'm really freaking irritated because I really had faith in that guy. And he is a complete disappointment. Complete disappointment. I know, right, Carla, Brian? I wish we could like people's comments. That would be cool. Cotton's police report? Well, there's investiga if they're investigating his um, death still, they might not, but we'll have to. Well, I trust everybody. Until I... Tell you, give me a reason. If for when I catch you lying, I, I all the time, I, it, instantly, I'm just like I lose every bit of ounce of faith in you. Instantly, it will never come back. I've never had that moment with Fred in over two years. I have never. It's not that I'm backing him just because he's my friend or, um, because I, oh. I must be in love with him. No. He has a girlfriend that he's been with for many, many years, who is also my friend, by the way. People are freaking dumb. I'm not, I don't blindly back, I don't blindly back somebody, especially when it comes to a child missing, just because they're my friend or just because it gets me views or, oh, it's a hot topic at all. I don't, I want the truth. I back him because I have not had that like moment of him like straight up lying to me and be, I mean, I would be, I would go, I would be like, dude, you fucking lied to me. Yeah. And thank you so much, Giselle. That was so nice of you. Thank you so very much. No, I'm not going to, Carm, I, I just, I can't listen to it. It's going to really piss me off. And I've already heard from people I trust, um, but it's going to piss me off. And I, I, you know, and I know it's better to be pissed off than pissed on, but like, well, not for Bill Shipley. He's, he's like into some weird shit, but for me and, but. I don't know. I'm a, I don't want to get distracted right now because we have that, we have that interview with, um, uh, Brittany. And I, I just, I'm afraid that's going to distract me. Um, because it's, this is my, my focus is on Bill Shipley right now. And, but I don't know. I just feel like it's going to really, really piss me off and do freaking zero good for me to watch it. Yeah, did you ever meet Rose um, Bly, Andy? Oh, thank you, Pam. Probably, Candace. 
it's probably what saved his life, I guess. I, 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 I don't know. You can get up here, but you have to, come on. You can get up here. You have to sit behind me. All right, whatever. You have good restraint. I, well, no, actually I don't. I, I'm actually very impulsive or very impulsive. Like when I heard about this, I wanted to go live immediately and freaking rip him an ass, a new asshole and freaking go over it and just talk my shit about him. Oh, I was freaking heated. But it, I was saved by the bell because I got a message right from Bill Shipley's uh, ex-wife's daughter. And I got a response back from her and it kind of distracted me. And she told me I could oh. call her. So I called her and that kind of distracted me from the situation. And that way I had time to calm down from it. Um, but I've had enough people send me like um, screenshots and some things that he said that I, where I trust people. I know that things can get like, you know, the telephone game, like things could get changed, but people are telling me, I mean, the way people are reacting and stuff, I just know it's going to upset me. You saw who earlier? That's why I don't like Ryan. He wanted to have a big channel. Like his boring hiking videos didn't work. So here he is two and a half years into the case. Here to put Summer's name on his hiking video. Yeah. I think he's, it's an opportunity, opportunist thing. And I'm just, it's another like similar thing to, to Brad with Sean in a way, even though he's not, it's in a way, I'm not saying Ryan's not like, I'm not saying he's financially scamming anybody, but I do feel like he is just a sensationalizing things and putting out whatever he hears like instantly. And I am, I'm, I'm impulsive too. Like I, that's why I, a lot of times I, if I'm live and I get a message, if you don't want me to react to something out loud in front of everybody, don't send it to me while I'm live because I'm, I will freaking, if I see something that's upsetting or that is shocking and I'm live, I'm going to probably repeat it and be, you know, because I, it, it takes me a second to register. Like, okay, slow down. I don't know. I think this, like, all it does is just, like, make him... He might got, get some views from the video because he's using Fred's name and the situation, Summer Wells, to... But I think it's going to actually hurt him in the long run. Unless he wants, I, I don't know, I guess if he wants that reputation, if he doesn't care, it seems like to me, he cares too much what people think. I don't know how he can, he's, he's, he doesn't seem like he can deal with criticism very well. Like when he started getting, um, people started giving him crap for having me on his panel, like immediately I could tell like he started changing. Like he is affected by people's, uh, what people say way too much. And this, like, you have to be, understand that people around here in this community have motives. And a lot of these creators are opportunists. And a lot of these people are opportunists, want to be famous, want to their name um, in the spotlight so they can, whatever, build their business or what. It's, it's ridiculous. Okay. You had to announce your uh, departure. Why, Kelly Holcomb? I, wow, I'm out of here. It doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me why you're upset. It doesn't tell me anything. 
JC, did you see my response to um, your comments? JC? Hey, Gigi. You were polite, straight up critique, and he deleted it. I guess it's the airport. This isn't the airport. You don't need to announce departures. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just tell me you're, oh, I'm out of here. What's the, What good does that do? You just wasted, like, 10 seconds of your life, like, when you're on your deathbed, you, you're going to want those 10 seconds back. And you just wasted your 10 seconds on sending a message that was completely useless. It doesn't even ex tell anything. I know, she I saw it's okay. <laughs> I know, truth always comes to light. And I know that, Hawk, that you're trying to get a hold of me. I am so sorry. I've been so busy. I'm sure we'll talk sometime. It's just, I. You stubbed her out. <laughs> so. <laughs> Who is Wayne Morlock? Or little Wayne Morlock. I've never heard of him. Somebody said that he showed up on the hill um, wanting Don to leave with him. I don't I don't remember that. He's all over Wild Bill's Facebook. There's code being used on both Bill's and Wayne's Facebooks that have to do with drug or trafficking girls. I'm going to add leagues so you have them. I hope this helps with your research. Cracking cases, phone call about Morlock on the hill. Timestamp about 2.48 is the recorded call. Don even went to his house after Summer went missing. Oh, Don Wayne Morlock's um, Facebooks. Thank you. I'll have to look into this for real. I appreciate you so much. Together, we're putting together. Yeah, this guy is does seem to be. I need to ask. Um, Read about him. Good. Wayne Morlock. <coughs> See, this would make sense, like why. Jody Sue's all crying and stuff because she knows she she has people close to her probably. Um, she she knows something's getting unveiled and she doesn't want it unveiled. She doesn't want people snooping around there because she knows something's going to be found. Is he the one with the face tattoos? Um, I don't see pictures from what was sent. Let me see. Let me see if I can, um, if there's any pictures on his, I didn't see any. It's just like, he has weird, like Jason mask on his freaking profile. There's a picture. He does have a face tattoo. I can't hardly see it. It's blurry. It's that blurry for me, too. And it looks like he has a star right here in that picture. But he he doesn't have any. Ew. He posts. He has Marilyn Manson, which I liked Marilyn Manson music. So I'm not going to give him shit about that. But it's just he does have a lot of dark things on his Facebook. But I think girls. <laughs> Weirdo things like freaking Billy Shipley puts. He likes his own post. 
he literally goes and likes his own post on several different of his Facebooks. Like Wayne Morlock liked this twice from two different Facebooks. <laughs> Hey, I'm guilty of liking my own stuff, but like it's funny that he logged into another account to uh, like his own post. <laughs> Does Fred know where you live, Ziggy? Does he know Bill Shipley? I want to trust anyone from the area. Um, does he? Yes, he has my address, and I absolutely, I um, hundred percent don't. I'm not worried about Fred knowing my address. He sent me um, some of his court documents before to show you guys. I've talked to him for over two years. Another fine looking man. Exactly right about Jay Sue. I know, I know he pinned a comment about me. You have some stuff on him? Okay, awesome. Is that another one he was accusing of taking the summer? Probably. Hopefully we, I th think that Well, I obviously, it's weird because I, I, I don't know how I could, could be so wrong about Ryan. It's so disappointing. I'm so like, and I sent so many people over there too. Like his following is because of freaking me. And this is what he does. Like, I'm not saying that you have to have a loyalty to somebody or anything. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying that, but don't freaking use somebody to build your channel. Okay. It's disgusting. And I can tell, I can, I know you used Fred and you used me. Nobody here, I mean, really, I'm the one that pushed your channel, and now everybody knows who you are. Every single time I've done this for somebody, guys, every single time, they've always fucking burned me. Head to terminal, inflated self-importance, and gate. No one gives a damn. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Midnight Baker. <laughs> I know. I'm glad that they're looking too, Carolyn. I am. I was. That's why I decided to. The last time when I was so upset with him, I was like, you know, I was like, okay, he's like stayed in his lane and mind his own business. But it was like almost like, oh. I wasn't mentioning him enough and here he has to make this video to get my attention. And it just feels like to me an opportunist, like he's trying to get me to be, do this right here. So he gets views and here I am, I'm giving him what he wants. Ew, I'm never seen this guy before. Somebody just sent me a picture of, um, this guy, hold on. Yeah, he'd be easy to freaking identify. He does have face tattoos. And that's pretty visible like that. So I don't think I need to post it, but yeah. Hawkins man, a uh, shit. 
Hawkins man accused, it won't even let me read the article. I'm Hawkins man accused of putting drinking buddy in coma, charged with aggravated assault. So it won't let me um, view the article, but it's a Time News article about him. Because it says I must have already viewed my quota of Times News lately. It keeps popping up this stupid thing trying to get me to pay for something. Let me see if I'm it, if I make a it might let me view it if I uh so let's look up. Um, Hawkins County man accused of throwing his drinking buddy out of a car earlier this year. This sounds like something she was telling me about. Oh, thank you so much. Th uh, thank you so much, uh, One Love, for the cash app. She said, proud of you. That's so sweet. Thank you. A lot of this stuff is because you guys, you guys have helped. Because this is like how it works. Like we're all working together and you're helping. And I, you know, and I never take credit for anybody else's work at all. Like. I don't, it's not about that. It's about finding summer. And now also finding out what happened to Sherry. Um, Hawkins County man accused of throwing his drinking buddy out of a car earlier this year, putting the victim in a coma and possibly causing permanent brain damage was arrested this week on a sealed indictment warrant. And this was back in 2018 of June. Wayne Morlock um, out of Rogersville was indicted June 1st by a Hawkins County grand jury on an, on one count of aggravated assault, assault stemming for an attack alleged to have occurred on March 21st. Hawkins County Sheriff's Office, Detective Keith Long said more. Keith Long, that's a new one. Oh, I've got it now, guys. I've got it. I'm seeing her reading it. I just made an account for Times News and it lets me view um, up to five articles, it says, so a month. So I'll just keep making different accounts. <laughs> I guess if you uh, make an account, it will let you um, view the article, a few of the articles. Um, but thank you guys. So he was indicted June 1st by Hawkins County Grand Jury on one count of aggravated assault, stemming for an attack alleged to have occurred, occurred on March 21st. Hawkins County Sheriff's Office Detective Keith Long said Morlock admitted to punching. Okay, so the guy's name is Jeffrey Adams in the head with a bat in the head with the back of his hand five to six times that night while they were driving along Van Hill Road in Beach Creek Community. Van Hill Road. Seems like a lot of stuff occurs there. Says, um, however, please suspect that Adams was thrown from a moving vehicle due to the severity of his injuries. Morlock was driving around 9.40 p.m. that night and Adams was a passenger in the passenger seat. Morlock repeat, reportedly stated that both men were both highly intoxicated at the time, having consumed some Beach Creek moonshine. <laughs> wow. Bunch of winners. Beach Creek moonshine. Quote, 
And thank you so much, Mind Games. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Before I forget. He was raped as well? Oh, my. Well, let's see. Morlock reportedly stated that Adams was putting his hand on Morlock's arm and laughing and wouldn't remove his hand when told to do so. Morlock allegedly said that after Adams refused to remove his hand after... After three or four requests, he struck Adams with the back of his hand five or six times. But Morlock denies throwing Adams from the moving vehicle. Adams was discovered at the intersection of Beach Creek Road and Van Hill Road by an occupant of a vehicle that had been traveling behind Morlock. The driver of that vehicle saw Morlock's, Morlock's taillights and reportedly observed him pull out of the intersection rather fast before the witness found Adams injured on the side of the road. Mr. Morlock said they had been involved in a fight inside the car and he stopped and got out, walked around the side of the car, pulled him out of the car and left him there, Long said. With the severity of the injuries, it would stand to reason he was thrown out of a moving vehicle, but we can't prove that with 100%. 100%. Adams was in a coma for three weeks after the incident and is currently in a nursing home where he remains un unable to communicate or care for himself. Long said the incident created an uproar in the in the Beach Creek community among people who wanted instant ju justice against Morlock. Wow. We held off on the charges because we didn't know if Mr. Adams was actually going to survive, Long said. His injuries that were reported by the hospital were very severe. He had an occipital, occipital bone fracture and another bone in the back of his skull was fractured. The way they described it to us was like a car wreck when your brain bounces around in your skull. An attempted murder charge was considered, but Long said the attorney general's office felt they wouldn't be able to prove intent that he meant to kill Adams. However, Long said Adams' injuries are too severe to have been caused by the back of Morlock's hand. So, okay, it's almost over. I guess I'll read it, read the rest of it. It says, we're going to have a lot more medical opinion than we've got now, Long said. There was a huge uproar in the community about this case. And it started with a friend of the family. They wanted instant justice and we weren't prepared at the time to take any action. I explained to the victim's family what was going on and the reason for the delay and they agreed with that. Aggravated assault is a class C felony punishable by three to six years for, standard, for a standard offender. Although Morlock has previous robbery and aggravated assault convictions on his record, which could enhance sentencing if he was found guilty. Morlock was arrested Wednesday and as of Friday has been held in the Hawkins County Jail on $30,000 bond pending arraignment in co criminal court on August 31st. And this was back in 2018. Yeah, right. Right, Kay, exactly. What can, can, can you tell us what you can do out there, um, Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. How about we start with that? What can you do for the community? Or what what or what can you prove for the Summer Walls case? Can you guys prove anything? Because uh right now we're we're thinking you're incompetent. I mean, we're I understand, I can understand how because I see this. I can see how big this situation is okay but law enforcement is probably like a hundred steps ahead of us i don't know are they i mean who knows I, I mean they should be i mean leslie Earhart was saying early on in the case uh who were who's a spokesperson for tv or part is tbi um employee or sheriff i don't know Anyways, PR person, anyways, was saying that this is bigger than we could imagine or saying something like that. And she said that early on. So they should be ahead of us. They should already have this freaking solved. Why does it feel 
I don't know. I don't know. Like, or do they know, have they been investigating this as much as we have and been researching it as much as we have? What can your community do for you, Hawkins County, helping solve the Summer Wells case? I really, really want to believe they know more than they're telling us. I know, right? It's hard to link this freak to this freak to that freak. Wonder what the statistics are for crime solved in Hawkins County. <laughs> Right, Gigi? But maybe that's why it feels like something's happening this year. I know we see that all the time, though. Like, I don't know. It is getting more scary. Like, I will say that. And, like, that's what makes it, makes me feel like we're getting, we're getting somewhere. Um I mean, all these connections. So, yeah, this Wayne Morlock we're have to look into, too. See, that's why I'm saying when all the... It, all, we'll have to ask her um, also, um, Sherry's daughter tomorrow, about Wayne. It's just this shows how many people are... They're all protecting each other because of something, some skeletons. And if somebody goes down for Summer Wells, there, there's a lot of other people who don't want Summer Wells found or figure out what happened to her. Because if that gets figured out, then there's other things that get figured out, if you know what I mean. And, and, Yeah, it, it could get a lot of people in trouble for some in some kind, you know, illegal activities. And so that's why maybe they might not know where Summer is, but they have a good idea what happened. Yeah, now I'm just now starting to understand this. Like, it's serious. Now... I have to, it has been like, there was oh a year after Jim passed where I was really, really depressed and not looking into anything. So, but yeah, it's, I, I, maybe if that didn't happen, I would have, we would have, I don't know. I would have been more, realized sooner, but it just seems like I'm really now like within the last, like, month or two really now starting to grasp like really how involved this is because it's just not I don't think I think it's bigger than people even can imagine and that's why that's why so many people are really trying to keep this quiet And it is true, like Scott was seeing some like stuff like this early on, and and he's a lo he's a local. Um, one second, guys. always wanting money for her freaking playstation dude i i i told her she wants to do some 
she wants to do something for me for twenty dollars. So <laughs> sometimes I give her task if she wants money. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let me think about it. I know if I don't, if I know you won't, I know she wants me to give her the money now and her do the task later. Right. Maybe Scott knows something we don't know. So he's laying low off the streets because it's wild out there. Them folks are crazy. They may have a horse farm there. I think there are a lot of players and webs involved. I know everyone wants the Marissa on, on something, but many times law, law enforcement will wait for the big one, the little things. Yeah, and that's, the, that's true, and it makes sense. And, oh, and I heard too, and I'm very happy to hear from that Trevor – somehow has got the FBI interested in Brandon Lawson's situation. Good job on that. I am very happy about that. I hope that was the incredible injustice. It, it gives me freaking goosebumps. How freaking much, how bullshit that sh situation is. It pisses me off like so fucking bad, dude. That was such bullshit. Every time I think about it, it pisses me off. Like, I can feel, like, my blood pressure rising. That's how much it pisses me off because it's so wrong. Yeah, I'll show you what he posted. What Trev posted that was sent to me. He didn't put much details, but I'm glad that he really was pushing for that and that he's not backing down and he's not scared because it is scary. It's scary when you're talking about possible law enforcement like corruption and uh, a big, huge trafficking ring or some weird shit organization. So Trev says... The FBI has taken interest in and is now in possession of the Brandon Lawson documents. That is all I can say right now. So that is a step in the right direction. This, because, like, it's all connected. It's all, <laughs> even that situation, I feel, is connected. It's all a part of the problem. He is a fine young man and very, very beyond his years. We do need more like Trevor's for this generation. Oh, my God. I know. I can't believe he's only like, what, 20 years old or something? That guy is so much more um, wise than people double his age. Well, quadruple their age, his age. So I'm seeing uh, Fred a message. He says he knows who Wayne Morlock is. So I'm I'm gonna I need to I want to talk to him on the phone tomorrow to hear more. It, I I can't really message. It's
It's weird. I only got a one word answer. That's not like him. So, what sketch? Uh, what sketch do you want to see? He's an old soul, right? I'd love to know his uh, his uh, sun sign, his zodiac sign. I'd love to know if he's like a Libra, somebody who's about justice, or if he's like. Um, he has a bad reputation. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, why did he just respond with one word, yes? You, th you think Warlock's in a nursing home now? Denny Stagners. Are you aware the second medium Florida drew a sketch of you with in two days that summer go missing and no one knew you at the time? Said you was. Uh, trying to think which sketch you're talking about. That is hilarious. She is manipulative. She is just trying to, and I, I, Trevor is way too smart for you, Jody Sue. So, okay. He, I could, it's obvious that guy honestly wants justice um, and truth. So you're not going to be able to manipulate him or become buddies with him so that he won't look into certain people. Or so you don't have, you can cry to him and be like, oh, oh, I'm scared. Don't talk to those people. I'm scared. It puts people in danger. Oh, hey, Kelly. Because Wayne Morlock is scary. I never met him, but stories are terrifying. Wow. Wow. And this was one of Billy's good friends, Kelly? There, Kelly, so I'm glad that you're here. Did you hear now? And unfortunately, we have 666 in chat. <sighs> okay. Um. Did you hear that Bill has an out date? So you need to get your permanent restraining order. PPO, definitely, like on it now. It's his cousin. I also got confirmation that he absolutely did, has messed around with Christy Dykes, Kelly. And has, I mean, I just talked to Sherry's daughter and she's going to be on tomorrow, Kelly. And she told me that he has an out date of next month. I can't. So it kind of made my stomach drop. Yeah, I know. I just found this out and I was going to, I, I, I just found this out like right when I went right before I went live and I was thinking, man, I should have, I need to contact Kelly and let her know. Trev has a live schedule about reporting child abuse. Jay, so you should watch this. What's Sherry's daughter's name? Brittany. And I can say it. She said she is not scared of Bill Shipley. She she is really trying to advocate for her mother. She truly believes, she says, like, he unalive my mom.
I don't know, G. Brill. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand Ryan's thinking. Like, he's just, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. The only thing I can think of is that he's an opportunist and he's trying to. It was good. And you're right. It's about reporting children being hurt. Hey, Blue Eye. I know Rinda is crazy. It is crazy. Is Brittany's ex a marshal? See, she's going to be on tomorrow, guys. So, you know, keep these. Let's. So, you know, prepare your questions. There's so much that she told me, and I've 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 told you guys a lot of it, but I want you you guys need to hear this yourself. Like, I, I see that's the issue, and that's the issue with what Ryan's coming out and saying. He says, "Oh, this this person says, oh, I can't say the person." No, you have to. These people, you have to get people to talk. You have you can't. People are not going to just continue taking your word. You have to give people, show people like what you're talking about. There's not many that are going, I think that he's one of those, Ryan's one of those that will take any attention no matter what it is, good or bad. Yes, I've been watching that. I know, I can't, I was going to play it. I was going to play it tonight, but I really want to focus on, um, I want to wait till after I talk to, I want to wait till tomorrow night. We'll watch it tomorrow night here and I won't, I'm not going to watch any of it until I watch it here with you guys, but I want to wait on that because I need to really focus on this, uh, Bill Shipley thing. He, <laughs> does he have a big following? Uh, no, he didn't have hardly, it, he didn't even have a thousand followers. He said he would never be monetized too. So if he's ever monetized, like you need to call him out on that shit. Um... funny it looks like he didn't even have anything he really didn't post anything for a few weeks um and now claims that fred hill is running everybody in circles you're gonna look really dumb i promise you that's how much faith i have in fred i'm sorry like if, you, if nobody, people don't understand that. Yeah, he's monetizing the, he shares his cash app. Yeah, it's the same thing. I don't understand why people think, oh, I'm not monetized. Well, if you're, if you're sharing your cash app and stuff, you're monetized, okay? Wayne Morlock is as bad, bad as Wild Bill. Wow. Did I miss anything Kelly said? You're going to be the wiener tomorrow night? Okay, Giselle, I'll be ready. Sausage balls. We like balls here. Aww. Uh, Trachitis, what's that mean? Crafting with Amy? When you say, do you have a brown cocoa one? Like a dark brown one? Yeah, Kelly, please, like, get this uh, protective order. And, you know, this is crazy. I can't believe that he could be, he's got to out. She's like, he is getting out next month. I was like, if he, I, uh, even when I said, I was like, well, if he gets, she's like, he is. Like, he has an out date. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Oh, I know. And that's another thing I meant to go over. I was going to go over his deception detective, too. Like, 
you know, I like that guy because of how he is about facts. Like, yeah, I know I do tarot and I watch psychics and stuff and I do take it into consideration, but I have, but the thing is like, when it comes to, I don't know, we need facts. We need, we need facts. We need He seems like a shit stirrer. And I'm talking about um, Ryan. That's like, seriously, that's what he. Oh, Billy's in jail, Jackie, not prison. And yeah, and she's out of state, but it's not that far. Okay, I'm going to go through the comments tomorrow and everything. Witter bomb. But I'm going to wait to actually look. I don't want to see it right now because it will get me distracted on when I need to focus. I know it is weird. It is. I know that whole thing's weird too. On Google Earth. His house looks like it's amazing. Like, I just, I, I love his house. But, man, I don't understand his thinking. Yeah. What's their amazing work? What, what, I mean, the amazing work that they have came from me and Fred, any type of real information because he knew nothing about the case. And now he's talking all he's, he's talking to somebody and now he's relying on somebody that he dissed because they didn't have the subscriber count. Now that he got the subscribe, the attention from using Fred in my channel to do that, he goes back to another realm and is like, it's weird. Oh, I know. All right, Bonnie, thank you so much for being here. I know. Didn't he say he was looking to hire a private eye? I don't know what, I can't think of anything that Ryan has brought to the case at this point. I'm glad that he's out there work, looking though, but I can't think of any info he's gave us. He's just causing confusion. Oh, Rian, uh, Rian and you're going to want to re rewind. This is one you guys are going to want to watch from the beginning. No, I'm I'm glad that he's looking Texas brat brat. All right, that's it. And he 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 true he truly hasn't. But I hope he does. I hope he does. I'm not saying he shouldn't be looking. I'm saying continue looking, continue doing what you're continue with that, but I feel like he's trying to on top of that make things like sensationalized.
Yeah, that was freaking ridiculous. Justin, you're going to want to rewind. I, it's way too much. I cannot. I'm sorry. Like this time, people are just going to have to watch from beginning on this one. It's just so much. He went around, took work. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what he did. Hey, crimes have consequences. I know, and that's where he got it from, Texas Brat Brat, and now he's, like, trying to, you'll, I have my reasons, but I, at the same time, I don't, and yeah, I know that Justin's cool with him and stuff like that. I don't care, like, if people are cool with him, but it's, people will see. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go for a little bit. And tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time, we're having Bill Shipley's ex-wife, Sherry, whose death is being investigated. We're having her daughter on tomorrow. And she... She has a lot of, she knows a lot surrounding, um, she knows, you guys are going to be very interested in what she has to say. This is going to be a very interesting, I, I think you guys are going to really like it. Yeah, Trina, the thing is, like, it's more than likely... Yeah, it's more than likely she's on private property and anything or be the winner of E Square. <laughs> Six PM Eastern time tomorrow, okay? And I'm gonna set it up here in a second. So all right guys, I'm done venting for now, but I will talk to everybody later.